Oh, yes, my favorite character, FYPO7. My other favorite character, FLK18. Wow. It's the detail that counts. Continuing off my Cars 15th anniversary videos, we're going to kick it off with yet another celebration video. This time we're going to be taking a look at this 2020 Mac versus that Mac right there from the Supercharged series. Y'all ready for some nostalgia? Come with me and I'll take you along for the ride. ka -chow! <laughs> So yeah, you know the last special that I did for Cars' 15th anniversary like a few weeks ago where we took a look at the evolution of the Cars packaging with McQueen inside? So yeah, basically, um, you know how I said I've had this one for a while? So basically, I bought these two together on Facebook Marketplace and it was like, I think $30 for both, which is honestly for me a really good deal considering it's like OG supercharged stuff. Um, I'm a little skeptical on opening this because I have my own from when I was a kid. We see the issue is... Yeah, mine's missing a bunch of the parts. So I want to take a look at a brand new one to see all those parts and compare it to something you can get at your local Walmart or Target, wherever you live at the moment that this video being made. Huh. Do you guys hear that? It's the Popo. Hmm. I think it's Disney coming to arrest me for doing videos with cussing so i bet you guys are wondering oh well is pcb gonna open the brand new one he has well i got this like three years ago and back when i first bought it i didn't intend on opening it but i got this video idea a couple of weeks ago and i was like you know what let's do it for the fans all right it says mcqueen ah, mcqueen mac opens into lightning mcqueen's action-packed home on wheels ages four plus okay it also says four plus wait so then what do the die cast say Three plus. Huh? That don't make sense, but all right. Um, it's a supercharged background, same as McQueen. See, it says supercharged right there. It has this image of Mac that's not even on the actual haulers you can see right there. Yeah. And then it says Mac truck playset. And then you lift up this flap right here, or this flap. I said flab, or flap and tab at the same time, and it said flab. Yeah, whatever. You lift up the flab, the new PCP word of the day, and you get to see the inside of the hauler. And in an image, of course, it says seven play features inside car wash, big screen, car washroom, trophy case. And then you have an image of a prototype McQueen, it seems, because, I mean, it looks nothing like the one on the back right there at the corner or like the other McQueens at all on there. So it's an interesting looking prototype image or stock image, I guess you could say. Um, Mac has g been murdered and they're trying to take his cap with brim for some reason. Yeah, he just split in half. Has a Mattel logo shoved there. It says McQueen not included. Bummer, I would have liked a McQueen exactly like that in here. Game station, kitchen, toolbox, car lift, weight machine, and rocking longer. Longer? Longer? Long, longer? Whatever. But yeah, it's a really nice nostalgic looking packaging. And then on the bottom it says Mac truck playset. Mac opens to reveal the seven play features. And it lists right there the features. Yeah, the gaming station and everything. I mean, it's really cool. Oh, right there it says, quote-unquote, gaming station. And over here it says, game station. Huh. All right. It says Mattel right there. Then you have the website and the service for Mattel info. Um, box is a little damaged looking. Not going to lie. I don't know. Um, whoever owned this before they sold it to me, I don't know if they had it on the shelf well, or like in a storage bin in the attic or something. I don't know. But it, it's, it's basic shelfware. What can I say? But the back, however... Oh my goodness, this is, this is just nostalgic. I hope you guys are getting that nostalgic feeling with me. Ripstick racers. Before those stupid little, like, little miniature plastic ones, I thought what they were called, but they were also like ripstick type of things. And they did them for Cars 1 and Cars 2 characters, but here are the OG ones. They were like these chunky boys. I mean, they were thick. I mean, just look at Sheriff, look at Mater. They were thick, chunky. Look at look at him. Look at Wingo. He, he thick, boy. He thick. Look at Boost. He had all the tuners except DJ for some reason. And then you have Max image right there. It says McQueen. Oh, yeah, totally. I was about to say McQueen is Max's best friend. 
Mac is Lightning McQueen's best friend, transportation and home away from home. What more could a hotshot racing rookie ask for? And then character cars assortment, you had Sheriff, McQueen, Doc King, Wingo Sally, Danica McQueen, Nitroade, Lizzie, Mater, Sarge, Chick, Fillmore, DJ, Leakless, and Ramon. Collect them all, available at a toy showroom near you. Oh, man, they don't put little gags like that on packages anymore. But it's just, what caught my attention was this assortment right here that they bothered to even put here. It's like, wow. They wouldn't just promote the die cast back, with, um, back in this area. They would promote the plastic stuff also, the big toys, everything. I really wish I had some of these as a kid. Let me know, if do you guys have any of these or had as a kid? I mean, honestly, if I were to choose two to have, I think it would be Mater, Cruising McQueen. I I'm sorry, but either Wingo or Boost because they just look chunky and hilarious. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging as far as that goes. The sides of the tabs of the packaging say the same thing from the bottom. Along with the top with the cars logo saying Mack Truck Play Set and yeah, just more info. All right, so to, how do you open this now? That's my question. There's no easy tab or anything. Dude, I, I, I just don't really want to damage the box because of how nostalgic this is to me, but I think the tabs are just glued on. Yeah, all right, we'll just pick up this corner. Why not? Let's get to it. Let's see if I can even get through it. Yeah, there we go. I hope this is the right way to open it. Oh my goodness, the moment of truth. <gasps> it's brand new! Better looking than the one I have right now, for sure. All right, Nostalgia, I'm about to relive my childhood. Three, two, one. Whoa. Whoa. Come on, I, I just gotta see every shot of this. Whoa, Mac with brim! What else is in there? Nothing? All right, I'm gonna put the box to the side now. So Mac is just like on this cardboard. Oh, there's instructions. And there's um, little tabs holding onto Mac right there. They're covered with tape. So you've got to take off the tape now. Honestly, I I'm so happy just seeing this. I'm reliving my childhood right now. The this was my first Mac as a kid. Not the one we're unboxing, but the one I showed that was all beaten up and with missing parts already, so. All right, let's just take this tape off right here. There we go, got it. All right, little cardboard. I'm gonna put it off to the side, because why not? And now we got Mac, fresh and spanking new, and there's bubbles in the stickers, because this is a big sticker. Yeah, I'm gonna compare it real quick to my old one, just to show you all like the condition. So my old one's gonna be at the top and the new one's gonna be at the bottom. Let me just see if I can just adjust this tripod. There we go. Old at the top, new on the bottom. Um, yeah, just a lot of creasing on mine. There wasn't any air bubbles on my stickers. I don't know why this one has them. But uh, yeah, just creasing right there. It's the same thing. This one, the colors look darker. This one's a little bit more sun faded, I guess. Yeah, um, but I tried taking care of it as a kid as much as I could. What really just got beaten up was the door because I would always recreate the scene as a kid where McQueen would fall out of Mac with the tuners so I'm guessing that's why it, all of that happened because I would take them outside in the driveway I'm guessing because there's no way that would happen with carpet heck no now look at the brand new spanking new door oh my goodness I'm excited to open it up so we'll put those off to the side before we open it up and now look at the Max real quick yeah Mac um he's getting old mine is losing the silver paint at the front it's not even silver it's gray and over here it's silver nice crisp looking sticker and over here it's like moldy well not moldy but just like really 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 creased but all these stickers are still there it's the max sticker right there is still there the lightning bolt everything i tried taking care of it as best as possible the license plate wasn't on this mac but i'm not surprised because it's a plastic toy but um, yeah, let me put off my old Mac to the side and now shall take a uh, quick look at the instructions. They're lengthy instructions. Oh wow. Get ready to play, vehicle not included. Yeah, just opening it up. Lightning McQueen's home away from home. Rest up before the big race. Dance. 
A, E, D. Yeah, you can basically just control that big pad to make them spin. I know how to play this thing. I used to play with it all the time as a kid. Yeah. Test your max horsepower. So weightlifting for cars. Repair or lift. Eat in the kitchen. Huh. That's funny. Wash up. Wash up after a hard day at the racetrack. Oh, over here it had a little bile. Also, it says come home to a good meal of gourmet gas, water, and oil. Ooh, fancy. McQueen's rich. And he can brush his teeth. All right. So now here we go with the brand new Mac. Let me see if I can adjust this tripod so we can get lower into the action. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, Mac, go ahead and connect. Oh, that's a nice click. See, that's not going to fall off. Mine, however, it just sits there and it falls off. Mine's all loose. It, it won't click at all. Or it does it. Yeah, it clicks, but it doesn't hold on. It's a loose connection. Poor Mac and his loose connection. He's seen better days. But all right, enough yapperin'. Here we go with Mac. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Huh. Definitely looks better than my old one. There's Harv. There are the supposedly trophies in silver. Wow. All the brushes and stuff are there. Everything is just there. Look at the shower. Look at that. Can this turn? No, it's stuck on there. Wow, I forgot what this looked like. I have no idea what happened to the parts of my old one. Probably lost them. A little gaming system. The kitchen. Can I even show the kitchen? Yeah, there we go. If you open this up. There's, ah, uh, hold on. Yeah, there's fuel in there, energy. And you can lift this up right here. It's beautiful. Let me see if I can get a higher shot right here. Okay, yeah, this is much better. There you go. Now you got a way better shot. What's that? You want an even better shot? <sighs> all right, all right. Give me a second. Bam! Bird's eye view, kinda. All right, McQueen. A basic McQueen. Let's do it. I, I am just reliving my childhood. He's gonna play some, what, GTA, Minecraft. Awesome. I mean, this is just quality. You cannot change my mind. All right, McQueen into the shower. He's a little too short for the shower right here, these little panels. Yeah, he barely touches them with his roof. Yeah, see, this won't even reach his roof. You can't lower it. Well, kind of. You can just pretend but without snapping it, I hope. All right, McQueen, grab your little towels, I'm guessing those are, and then brush your teeth. There you go. Not bad, McQueen. Not bad at all. And then right here, weightlifting session. All right. Over there, I think it says 20 kilograms. 40 and 60. How much can McQueen do? 40, you wimp. 60 with effort. Urgh, McQueen's strong. I hope. You can just flip this over if you want and just mess with it. All right. And McQueen, I want you to park on over here. We're going to pick you up. It would have been really nice if a Guido came with this. I think there was a time travel Mac, it was it called? That came out in 2017 and it did have Luigi and Guido, I think. Yeah, it was for Cars 3. But nowhere near as impressive as this Mac. It didn't have any of these features. Guido was just a launcher, if I'm not mistaken. And Mac as well. It wasn't a play set like this. I always wondered as a kid, what is this for right here? I don't understand. Humans? Is this supposed to be a couch? Huh. And I like the little kitchen over here. You put the water down for him to sip, and then you have some gas that somehow you expect to put in the middle of his freaking body. 
If you open them up, then yeah, of course you can kind of reach the gas cap right there. Can you? No, because there's no gas cap. So you gotta turn all the way. 20 years later. There we go. Now you can fuel up McQueen. You can even pick them up if you want, I think. Kind of. There you go. Well, I guess you can just pretend. It's all about the imagination. It's if kids of today even have that anymore. But yeah, then he can jump because of his giant buddy hand McQueen here. Or PCP's hand here. And then, I don't know, get a midnight snack. And then there's a nitrate can over there and another can over there that I'm presuming is transberry juice? I think and I hope. But yeah. Not bad at all. And of course, there you have Harv on the phone. Can you take it off? Then how did I lose mine? These are hard to take off. I don't want to break it, but that's that's pretty stuck on. I don't know how the hell I lost I lost my pieces, but um, yeah. Basically, you pick up the door now, which is stiff because you know it's brand new. The one I have on my old one's all loose, but you put the door in between those two little tabs right there. There you go. Lift this up. Actually, no, I think it's the other one first because of all the accessories. And there you go. You have Mac all ready to go. Honestly? Honestly, though? I just relieved... Uh, relieved. Relived my childhood. And also, also well, I feel kind of relieved. Because, like, now that I'm more, like, collecting uh, cars more than I was as a kid, you know, I'm more, like... I'm more focused on the car stuff now. It always bummed me how in my collection, like, I'd open this. And I'm like, what happened to those pieces? But now I got them. In a brand new Mac. It's not my old one. I could probably transfer the pieces, but... I, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm never going to get rid of my old OG one. Heck no. He doesn't deserve that treatment. He was there for me as a kiddo. But yeah, there you got two big Mac trucks pack, uh, packed. Well, yeah, packed in a little corner and parked. But now, what I want to do is open the 2021... What do you guys think? Has it changed a lot? Is it better? Or is it worse? Let's find out. Mac Holler. I mean, there's not much info on it. It's the Blue Desert back, whatever it's called. Transform, se transforma, se transforme, transformation, more cow, transform a cow, my bad. Mac Holler, and yeah, it shows Mac going incognito into the Blue Desert, and then you got. Oh, yes, my favorite character, FYP07. My other favorite character, FLK18. Wow. The haulers are labeled by numbers now and not names. Um, Why do we have Cars 1 McQueen on there when it's Cars 3 Mac? Hmm, Mattel? Hmm? Hmm? Spend too much time shoving your RSN logo right there? You couldn't even put the proper McQueen artwork? Hmm? I mean, you put them there, but whatever. Easy open. Hooray. Who doesn't like those? 2018 Mattel. They just re-released this pretty much. Because this was available before. Alright. Instructions. Oh, there's a storage apparently. I'll check that out right there. Or, no, it's just a way to store it, I'm guessing. Setup. See, it opens up like the, other, the older one. And then you just put the tabs down and you click it on. I uh, if parts detach, reattach is shown. So these detach, huh? At least it straight up told you. I don't think the other instructions from the supercharged one say that. To play, drive down the ramp, get clean, fuel up, lift and tune up, tip to launch, relax. Detachable cab, detach and move accessories around as desired. Okay. Not for use with some cars, vehicles, vehicles not included. Come on, these need a McQueen at least. Come on, at least a plastic one. Not included. Story set connectors. That stuff is dead. I don't know why they still go with that story set stuff. But anyways, enough yappering. That tab right there. That tab right there. I think that's the last one, right? Oh, there's uh, there's wires in there. Why do you do that, Mattel? I don't understand. I'm going to have to grab scissors. All right, scissors. All that effort, I had to get up, go to the kitchen, grab some scissors for a simple snap like that. Or snip. I don't know. You know what? I'm not even going to bother. Poor Mac. 
You know what? Okay, not gonna lie, that looks nice. Ah! Finally! Oh, come on. Rubber bands, what for? It's not like it was gonna open up inside of a box almost covered up 100%. What now? There we go. Detach, Mac. You're holding up the video here with your rubber bands. I don't know why Mattel put in there. Whew. You know what? I might keep these. They're sometimes useful. All right. Anyways. Oh, there's another one. Great. I didn't know I was going to get more rubber bands in product for my money. But okay, I guess I'll take it. Speaking of which, let's lower down. Perfect. All right. So Mac here. I mean, he's all right, I guess. Made in Vietnam? What? Vietnam Mac? That's new. You know what? I gotta go bring my China and Thailand ones. This is too good to be true. All right, got him. China, right? I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. China, yeah. And then the single right here. I think I got it on Blue Desert, was it? I think I could be wrong. Thailand. Yeah, Thailand. All right. Huh. Honestly, I like the Thailand one. The, the new expression just looks great. But this Vietnam dude, I mean, they painted in his tongue. And it's not a flat out red. It's an actual different color. It's like a pink. It stands out. It looks good. Of course, sadly, there's stickers on the sides and everywhere else. I mean, they could have just put a little circle sticker of the Rusty's logo. But no, they decided to do a whole square print of the sticker. I mean, I guess it's easier for Mattel to align them in the factories. Because I, I can already see the goofy errors they would have done with this. But, um, yeah. There you go. Mac with no details because you don't have those little lights painted in or anything like on those. Huh. Chunky boy. Got a question, though. Yeah. I'm going to have to detach the China one because... I don't know why the separate semis, they don't put the detachable little clip thing in there. I don't know why they just fill it in. I don't understand. Even as a kid, I had, um, I think his name is Gray, the King's Holler, but just the semi. I got it as a deluxe back in the day, I think in the racial Rama packaging. And I wanted to connect him to Mac as a kid, but I couldn't. Pissed me off. All right, let's see if this connects. Okay, I guess, sort of. No, not really. Yeah, but you can't, you can't make turns. All right, let's just connect it the, the right way. There we go. I really like that image. It's not like it's not there, but... Hold on, let me see. If, yeah, there you go. You can take a look at the images right there. Not bad at all. I really like this large print right here. See, because you don't have the... This right here, I mean, of course it's movie accurate, but it covers up part of the image and the Rusty's logo, but now you can see it all down here, which is great in my opinion. And then the doors in the back, again, you see the full door now and you don't have this covering it up. But it looks good, honestly. I'm honestly not that disappointed so far. I take that back. It doesn't say Rusty's. Rip. But now I guess we'll open her up and take a look at Mac inside, shall we? Oh wait, gotta do a overhead shot for this one because honestly i think it just hits different <sighs> all right three two one ah, come on there we go whoa um what in the excuse me what what in... huh 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 what he brought a piece of concrete from Gillen ellen his first win Oh, he brought his old TV in here too, but wait, I can't push the buttons? What a small TV! I thought it was going to extend like Jackson's, but I guess that's only reserved for the next gens. This just opened up, I think, when I opened it. What, what is what is this? See, at least the other one had them painted in silver, the trophy case in the old Mac. But this one, well, hey, I, I got to give them credit. They put McQueen's little bobblehead vinyl figures in there. And now they actually put the piston cup molds, but you know what? <sighs> it's
It's the detail that counts. Sorry, it's just ticking me off. I'm doing a, a terrible job, I know it, but I just find it so funny that I'm doing this live on camera. So I'm going to continue doing it anyways. Honestly, I think it's looking better though than the actual product how it was. He won three piston cups. There you go. See, that looks better. That's the way they should have done it. Now you have the piston cups in there. The right way. All right. Thank you, pencil tray, whatever. Pencil marker tray. Anyways. That's weird. I do like, however, like the random little things they put around, like the tires right there. And does this lift up? How do you lift this up? Oh, with that little tab right there. I guess. It's not bad. Um, where's my car, Sir McQueen? There he is. All right, boy. You're about to get tested out on here. Tell me what you think about it so far. Um, Very plasticky. I don't know why. What, what do you expect to do? You're going to flip me into my TV? Right, I guess you can't. Oh, you can do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You just gave me an idea, McQueen. What? What? <sighs> Come on. I thought that would work. Okay, close enough. Hey, yo, that looks wrong. All right, McQueen, get to gaming. Test out the TV. Tell me what you think while we take a look at the rest of the hauler. All right, so over here you have like these tool set, whatever. And of course, we took a look at the trophy case. It's screwed in with a screw, but it's all loose because you have no support on it. Besides Mac on the back right there. And here's your, I mean, it's the same placement for the kitchen. Look at that. But now you have a fridge with no door. Ugh, McQueen's food's probably going to expire. You have a fancy gas um, tank right there or pump. That just fell off. Well, it did say in the instructions you can move them around. So you can place it over here. If you want to get washed in the middle of no, ugh, your freaking home, keep it organized and, you know, keep it in the shower over here. Unless you want to make your road piece over here the shower. I mean, I guess that'll work. It's up to you, really. You have a kitchen in the shower. We have no proper shower anymore, which is a shame. Uh, this stuff does come off, right? Yeah, there you go. You can take it off. I don't know what to think of that. It's like, meh. I, I guess. And then, of course... All right, McQueen, get off the TV. Get on there. <gasps> Harv is there. No way. Can you take him off, though? No, you can't. I don't think you can. I don't want to break things. Because I already feel like I'm doing too much pressure on it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to risk it. You pretty much put McQueen on there. And well, I guess you have to lift this up first. Oh, wait, no. That's what that's for. Right? I hope. Okay, let me, let me, I should have checked the instructions properly. There you go. Clicks into place. And you can pretty much tilt them around. And there's a story set connector down there. Look at that. Pick your butt up, McQueen. There, oh, I didn't tell you to leave. Yeah, it's right there. And you put it down. And you're pretty much back on ground level base. And right there you had... Pick up McQueen, come on. See, right there you have that little um, speed bump, I guess you could say. Quote, unquote, speed bump right there. So that when you put down the base, perfectly aligns, perfectly balanced, just how I like it. And then, I guess you can pump those, I guess. I don't know. And this keeps on falling off. I don't know why. It won't, like, click into place because, you know, it's removable to place on other parts of the set. But honestly, this isn't bad. Then, of course, you can cross over here. That doesn't lift up. That's stuck. This one's the one you can lift up. So if you want to be a cocky bastard like McQueen, you can come up here and look at your trophies and admire yourself, egotistical maniac. Look at him. Look at him. all of his trophies that aren't even painted. But then again, there's no need. I mean, they're the same color as McQueen. Anyways, get down from there. Oh, he's gone. He dipped. Someone can just come into his kitchen and... This is the police! Get down! This is a robbery! Wait a minute, why would the, po why would the police do that? Never mind. I don't understand the thing right there. And right... Ugh, that's not painted in! It took me... What? Not even 10 seconds? What did what, what 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 was holding you back, Mattel? There, I fixed it. <sighs> Goodness me! You cross over the road, and then you get onto the highway, and he's not gonna drive it all night long, cause you gotta get more story sets, cause Mattel wants money. Woo! But yeah, it can connect on both sides, and then there's this dividing thing, which 
which I really don't understand. It's like, I guess you could do that. Ouch. That probably hurt his mouth. I guess, if you want, you could do that. I mean, do you really need this? Can, can I take it off? No, I can't. It's like this giant wrench just attached to the side with a screw. Okay, that explains why it didn't come off. I don't, I don't get it. And you can't turn beyond that point. It's like it wants you to go this way. No, no, no. Can't go that way, McQueen. You know, I could detail that with a yellow Sharpie if I had one. You know what? Better, better yet. I'm going to detail that with gold. Let me mark it right now so I remember after the video. Right there. Each individual arrow will be detailed. We'll skip one to give it more depth. But yeah. Honestly, it's not bad. It lacks a lot of details, no doubt, that I'm having to refill in there. That takes me, like, what, less than five seconds each? But, yeah, honestly, I don't know what to think of it. It's um definitely not the same thing you'd like from back in the day. I mean, there's plenty of parking spaces for McQueen to just, like, chill, which is something I admire, actually, in comparison to the old one. But, like, now you don't have the little turntable thing. You can't push down these buttons. They're just stationary stickers. And he's looking at the piston cup reels, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But um, now I, what I want to do is a type of shot like uh, before and after, if that makes sense. Let's see. Come on. There we go. All right. So there you go. You got your before. Oh, hey, Yoshi. You're red like McQueen. You can enjoy the show. You got your before. And you got your after. Which one do you prefer? There we go. Yeah, let me know. Honestly, it's tough. But for the sake of my nostalgic childhood, this one for the win. I like how this... It's like kind of like a little tunnel, I guess. If you had an extra piece of plastic right there, it could be like a little tunnel. That he can like go through. But even then, like over here, I love that trophy case. Despite it not being painted. Because it has like McQueen's little vinyl figures. As much as I joked around this joke... Uh, this joking piece of plastic of road it, it's not bad honestly it looks dope because you can connect it to other sets like the jackson storm play set and the cruise ramirez play set um i've already reviewed the cruise one my brother has the storm one there's a different version of the storm one also that's shorter that came out that's like a launcher and like a tv but i don't really like that one but honestly it's not bad i mean you have your this is the same position sort of as this uh we lost the weightlifting equipment I mean, if you're talking about those little round black things that are not tires, I guess you can say, yeah, just, I mean, the weights in their world, I mean, are equivalent to ours as well. I guess you could say they're thrown on there on the ground, but now they look more like tires. But then again, McQueen's tires are not that size. So, and the inclusion of Harv just shocked me. I mean, there it's a different like size because here's like a iPhone type of size. And then over here, it looks like a freaking microwave. Look at that. It, it's a freaking microwave. And over here, you know, it looks like a, a phone, an iPad, I don't, anything but a microwave. But, um, yeah, honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I don't know if they expect you to launch this like that. Like, do they expect you to place McQueen there? And I guess that's what they expect you to do. I mean, I didn't read the instructions properly, so. Let's see. Does it say anything about launching McQueen? Diverter. Yeah, that's all it says. Yeah, it just says diverter. It should have included those little ramp pieces, to be honest, the ones in dark gray. Because it's supposedly, you come in, it diverts you into there. You come in from the other side, also diverts you in there. All right, not bad. Now let's see. You can store this McQueen there, right? No problemo. You have all of his bathroom equipment on top of him, but he's in there. That's what counts. That's what matters. Where do you store this McQueen? Let's find out without looking at the, the uh, instructions. What is that? A piece of cactus? Okay, I guess you can... I guess you can put them there if you really wanted to. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and then snap that on right there. Honestly, if you see this Mac in store, honestly, it's not a bad idea to, to get. It's not bad at all, really. I liked it. I was always holding off on getting it whenever I go to like Walmart or Target, but now that I got it, I actually kind of like it. Um, yeah, huge size difference. This one's a lot taller and chunkier for sure. 
Yeah, just, I mean, just look at that. This boy thick. This boy slim. Like Slim Jim. Imagine if they comment on this video. That'd be dope. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what other videos I'm going to do for Cars' 15th anniversary. This is probably like the only other one I was thinking of besides the evolution of the Cars packaging. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And Piston Cup Productions, signing out. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Wait, no. Spider-Car. Yeah, there we go. This is McQueen's new Spider-Man hub. Or little base. There we go. Most random thing I'm ever, I've ever done. Oh, wait, I should have done those in silver. Too late now, anyways. See you later. So yeah, when I like did this um, video on McQueen's uh, blah, 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 blah.